Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to root and uninstall unwanted uh, applications from your phone. By unwanted, I mean those bloatware applications that manufacturers and carriers put on the phone, such as AT&T Navigator, AllPlay, etc., etc., that you wouldn't be able to take off uh, because they don't allow it. But I'm going to show you how to do it by rooting and installing one program, and it's very simple and very easy, and you guys will probably find this very helpful. So let's go ahead and start here. Uh, what you're going to need is a couple of pieces of information here. So let's go into our phone's settings. Go down to about device. And we're going to need the model number and the Android version. This is the AT&T version of the phone. So we're going to have uh, Samsung SGHI747, which is the AT&T model. And we are uh, upgraded to the latest version of Android for the S3, 4.1.1. So uh, we got that done, but let's go back into the menu and we're going to do a couple more things before we go on here. Uh, we're going to need to go to developer options and make sure USB uh, debugging is checked. So there we go, we have it checked there. I already did that and I also, you want to go into security, scroll down a little bit, unknown sources, you want that to be checked as well. Just to make sure that we don't run into any uh, trouble so there there you go we need those two things done after we find out what model we have and version of android and we're also going to need to download the toolkit and make sure you install that as well i already have done that right here so i'm going to go ahead and open it and this is the toolkit it looks like a command prompt uh, i already have upgraded or updated the version of it so we don't need to do that i'm just going to hit no there sorry about that with the camera all right, so over here, as you can see, there's plenty of versions of Android. Uh, this is almost all the versions. Actually, I think it probably is all the versions, safe to say. So um, there you go. We're my version is the US AT&T Model 4.1.1 Jelly Bean on there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just click, what is that, 4.2, oh, 4.2, and hit Enter. Now, on this menu, the first thing you want to do is you want to install any drivers and that's the first option up here so you hit number one and it'll install all the drivers I already have done that make sure you do it you do need the drivers installed so once you do that you want to go ahead and take a look up here it says uh, ADB mode and list of devices attached right there and as you can see there's nothing yet but let's go ahead and plug in our phone and hopefully it pops up now if, now, if uh, you do not see your phone pop up there, that means it is not recognized and you want to see, like right now, it's not open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close it and I'm going to reopen it. And one second, let me bring that back for you guys. No, we don't want to check for an update. Uh, for two. And right there, now my phone is recognized it is right here in the device list and we can continue so first things first we want to go ahead and root the device so we're gonna hit number two hit enter let me zoom out a little bit here for you and we have a bunch of options here there's a bunch of rooting options and it all comes down to what you want um, I'm just gonna go with a plain old uh, flash insecure boot image and root the phone that is the plainest way to do it and if you want to have a uh, custom recovery go ahead and choose a different version but this is what I'm gonna choose if you ever want to go back to stock and there is an option for that as well so I'm gonna go hit number one go ahead and uh, just choose a recommended super user and we're gonna hit number two and it says right here are you uh, enabled have you enabled USB debugging we have, so we're going to hit yes. Oh, oops, sorry, you can't even see that. Right there. Yes, waiting for it to be enabled. We're putting the phone into download mode. So let's make sure we see the phone here. There's my Android guy in download mode. And it's going to pop up with uh, the program called Odin, which should be installed with the toolbox. So I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see that program right there. And now uh, what we're going to do is uh, the instructions are right there. It says click on PDA, go into the root folder, and then uh, it says choose that file. So yours may be different depending what version of uh, the phone you have. So here I'm going to go into 
root SGH I seven four seven and it says it wants the DLK three dash my thing. So right here, DLK three. Oh there's two of them. Uh which one does it want? Oh insecure, okay. Uh, we get the insecure version because that is what it's asking for. So we click open. Then it says go ahead and hit start. And boom, that's what we're going to. Oh, right there. Okay, so as you can see, it's doing its thing. It's resetting. Resetting the phone, that is. So let's wait until it resets. As you can see, it is in the process of resetting. Okay, so after the reset, I just closed it and it went ahead and did its thing for me. Now, it pushed the super user uh, files to the phone and that that was done all automatically after I closed Odin. So, that, it says uh, that, the it says, congratulations, you hacked it successfully, which is kind of funny because uh, they really did the hacking for us. Anyways, so now it's rebooting the device and hopefully we will be able to see the super user icon which signifies that it was uh, successfully rooted. So if we go over here, we could see in the applications drawer our little super SU guy right there, the little android. And that is how you know you have rooted successfully. So that, my friends, is how you root your S3. Simple enough, right? Okay, so now we're back at the main menu. Feel free to uh, flash a recovery on there if you want, but uh, I'm not going to for the time being. Uh, if you want to flash a recovery, that is option number five, right up there. You can see it, but we are done with this portion of it. Okay, so now that we have successfully rooted the phone and we have our super user buddy right there, uh, we're going to go into the Play Store and we're going to install a program called Titanium Backup. This program requires root, which is the main reason we did this. But there's plenty of programs out there that require root as well, so you could do a little research and see some cool programs. Uh, if you do want to use your PlayStation 3 controller, you could go ahead and uh, install the program called Six Axis. Warning, it does cost $2.99, but it is well worth it. You can use your PlayStation controller with your phone. Anyways, uh, I have a video of that too if you want to go check that out on my channel. But right here, Titanium Backup and it's asking for root privileges so we're going to grant it hit backup and restore oh uh, just missed that all right so over here is the list of all our applications and the one application that we cannot get rid of is uh, AT&T navigation which comes stock with the phone let me zoom in here a little bit here it is AT&T navigator so what we're going to do is we're going to wipe Z data yes we want to wipe the data and then it says uninstall. Do you want to uninstall it? You click yes. This will uninstall the program. That's what we're doing. So uninstalling the AT&T Navigator. Boom, it is gone. So just to make sure that it is in fact gone, we're gonna go into our apps and AT&T Navigator is no longer there. Now you can do this with any of the applications. I'm gonna show you one more time with a different application. Let's get rid of the all play error, or yeah, the all share play. So all share play, we don't want it. We're going to uninstall it. Actually, go back. You want to wipe the data first just in case there's something in the cache or something. You just want to get rid of every part of it. So delete the data and then hit uninstall. We don't want anything to do with it. Yes. Yes, uninstall it. Uninstalling our share play. All share play. And it says that uninstall is complete. So now we're going to go back here. Apps. And it is gone. Isn't that amazing? We do not need these crappy apps on our phones. We don't want it. We're going to get rid of it. So that's how you do it. And it's really as simple as that. You just go to any application that you don't want inside of Titanium Backup. There's plenty to look at. Make sure you, this is very dangerous, so you don't want to like get rid of anything important. There's a bunch of important stuff here. So yeah, be careful, be weary, and get rid of those crappy apps, AT&T messages, that is going as well. Uh, so there you have it guys, that's how you root and uninstall any unwanted bloatware that comes with the phone. I hope this was helpful, leave a rating, comment if you need help, or if, you, if this helped you at all, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye.